So, hello guys, my name is Igor and today I'm going to show you how you can set up a 3ds Max to make um, a believable image like if it was on a studio, like this one. Um, first, we are going to open 3ds Max. I'm just going to place a box on it. Just going to the rendering, render setup. Just going to change current render, change the output to HDTV 20, 1080p. That's enough. I'm going to create the corona material, selecting this one and changing to corona material. This one I will leave on white. I'm gonna increase this box. Um, I will go to the environment tab and change the map. One, paved map. Now I'm gonna grab one. I will have a link in the description for this one. So that's okay. Now I'm gonna import the mesh. Simple mesh. That's good. Going to the material tab. Let's see. I'm going to drag this one, change the name, yellow, and call it yellow. Okay, yellow. Change the color. I'm going to pick this color. I'm going to increase the reflection. Don't drag. Select this one. This one will be a similar one, you drag, change the name to black and um, change the color to black, of course. Don't go really black, never a good choice to go all black. Two, okay. Change the translucency, increase the size, and glossy. So, so I lower yeah, and drag it, and decrease the opacity. And yeah, that's it. That so now I'm going to add Corona. Right. I'll head over here and I will it will be a point rectangle. Yeah. Just going to make it a little bit on the other side, change to shader so I can see better. Place it in a nice place. I'm going to the settings of the light and decrease the intensity to eleven. That's okay. What I'm going to do is set visi visible directory. I will deselect it. And now I'm gonna click Ctrl C, that will create a camera. So when you click on P to go to perspective and click on C again, you will have the camera in your place. So, yeah. So now we are going to render and see the results. 